I've never really had an opportunity to make a piece like this before. It's been very special for me. I'm Max Richter. I'm a composer. When the uh, Louis Vuitton Foundation asked me uh, to make a piece for Rothko, I was uh, really thrilled because uh, I've had a lifelong fascination with his work. So it was a wonderful opportunity to spend more time uh, with the paintings and to, uh, yes, to think about them from a new perspective. This project is uh, a first for me. Um, I love visual art and, uh, you know, I have friends who are painters and artists and I have a long association with uh, visual culture. Yulia, my wife, works uh, with photography and visual art. So it's a big part of my life. Um, but I've never really had an opportunity to make a piece like this before. Uh, so uh, it's been very special for me. The project exists in uh, three different versions. Uh, first of all, there is a concert work, which we will perform three times uh, with orchestra. And that's a kind of um, a meditation, a kind of a response to what Rothko's work means to me. And then there are two uh, pieces for the galleries. One piece is for the headphones, so that when people are walking around, uh, they can have the experience of this music composed for the show. And then there is a music installation, uh, which is live instrumentalists distributed throughout uh, this wonderful building and electronic music. And that's an evening length piece uh, which is a sort of environmental response to the Rothko works. I think what's so inspiring for me about Rothko's work, and this is in a way paradoxical, um, is that the paintings seem to point to something beyond themselves. There's a bit of a debate about whether Rothko's work is representational or not. Personally, I think it is representational, but it is representational of something we cannot see. And Rothko's work, in a way, allows us access to something which we normally wouldn't have access to. It's a kind of a doorway. Uh, and that's what's so exciting about Rothko's work. There is this kind of feeling of a potential something out there beyond us and beyond the work, which the paintings allow us to experience. You know, people think of music as being abstract. Uh, you know, Stravinsky famously said, uh, music is powerless to express anything. Well, I don't know about that. I think he was uh, being provocative. Um, I think music does express things, but the things that music expresses are very difficult to convey in words. Uh, and I think Rothko's work is similar. The paintings radiate a strong feeling. They call forth in us uh, emotional states which we maybe weren't aware we had within us. And I think that's the job of art and creativity generally, um, to enlarge our experience of the world, to experience other minds, in this case, the mind of Rothko, this extraordinary artist. For me, uh, every work is an experiment. Uh, and what we've got here is we've got the paintings of Rothko and this uh, musical object coming together. And most importantly, there's a third element in that, and that is the biography of that person who's listening. Um, and I'm really interested to see what happens. Um, you know, everyone brings their own life story to looking at a painting, to hearing a piece of music. And um, there's going to be a kind of infinite range of unique responses because of that. Uh, yeah, and I'm excited to see how that goes. Well, I'd say I guess that there aren't really any rules in how to encounter these things, you know. Um, responding to creative work is super personal. And um, I think people should, uh, you know, in, try to enjoy it you know, throw away all your ideas, throw away all your preconceptions and just kind of go to the exhibition, listen to the music, see how it goes for you.